Ring of Honor television. Yeah, I liked it. It's completely different. It is. It's completely different from anything else in pro wrestling. For all you people who 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 want pure sports pro wrestling, this is as pure sports pro wrestling as you're ever going to see. They go in there. And, and hey, like, let me add one thing about that, by the way. I just finished watching the New Japan Strong show from this past Friday. And oh, it is, oh, in fact, you? Jeff Cobb in the main event against, against Kenta. Yeah. And my God, the referee takes a bump. Yep. And then the again, and just then like the first another match. referee comes in, and then Chase Owens pulls that referee out. I mean, there's it was like watching a, a WWE match, and well, it been feels doing like. That? And listen, That's, New Japan's been doing that like crazy ever since the pandemic. I know. I, I love this New Japan Strong show, and prior to that match, the show was great. But dude, no, but they did the same thing in the first. It's Kent, like the, the, every the first Kent, main event is a ref bump on this show. Yeah, well, every every Kenta match, every Bullet Club match, that's the deal. So anyway, the point of this is, if you're sick of that, you ain't going to get it on this Ring of Honor show here. No, because anyone who interferes is fired. <laughs> yes, you are fired. You're fired if you interfere. And this is not going to be, like, fired and come back. It's like there's going to be no interference. You get one punch in the match, just one, and then you're disqualified. If you could do a second one, you get was it three rope breaks? Three rope and, breaks, and they count they count them. Um, yeah, there's actually a timer on the screen, so you don't even have to pay attention. Really, you can just look. It's like right. in UFC where they have the three dashes to tell you what round they're in. There's yep. three dashes under each guy. Every time they get a rope break, one of the dashes is gone. Right. So you just watch it, and you can see how many rope breaks a guy has left. The timers on the screen to tell you how much time. Right. So it's 15 minutes. If it goes 15 minutes, it goes to the judges. Yep. Um, and the wrestling. So that before every match, they do long personality profiles, like watching Bellator, you know, with um. And these are know. long. I mean, these are these are real like long. Three, four, five minute packages for each guy. Yeah, just going through your motivations. They just basically tell you who this person is. It's like it's it's kind of actually in a way what what I wish that that um, AEW had done um, when they started. Like I always thought that like. There's so many guys in AEW that never had television. So, you know, like every week, focus on one guy, long personality piece, give them a win type of thing, you know, kind of get people to know who they are instead of like, because one of the problems with AEW from the start is, is there's an assumption that everyone knows these guys when, and, and the hardcore, their hardcore base does, but you know, like that first week on TNT, they're just throwing so much at you and you don't know who these guys are unless you're like in the club already. And so that's why it was it was kind of tough. They did no they did no introduction. So um, anyway, here they're they're doing introductions. They went in there and they did like you know big long. And you know Jay Lethal's been there for forever. And they still did a big long introduction on Jay Lethal and explaining the pure title. Yeah, because they and, talked about his whole history, how he had the pure title, he wants to win the pure title again. They told the whole how he, history how he of was, the belt. Uh, how how how? Uh, but going back fifteen years with Samoa Joe. Yeah. You know, like just he was, he was, you know, Samoa Joe brought him in and Samoa Joe helped train, just the whole thing. And then um, Dalton Castle, they showed his high school wrestling, his beach wrestling, his college wrestling. Um, and basically he said that, like, uh, you know, he's going to be throwing this guy around. And then in the match. Well, his it's point like, was people have forgotten that I'm a dangerous guy. Yeah. And I'm going to I mean, show them. He did no Dalton Castle, like zero Dalton Castle in this match. There was no, it was just, you know, like a, a, a you know, it, it's, it's just, you know, the other thing about it too is like, I realized about 10 minutes into this match that there's no fans. Whereas like with every other promotion. Because it's like a sport. We've yeah, talked about every, this a hundred times. With every other promotion, I notice in like one minute that there's no fans or the fans are fake. In this one, it's like there's no fans and it doesn't matter because they're just out there. They're basically just out there wrestling. And they do, they do at the end, like they'll, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like what you perceive wrestling used to be. And by the way, it never was. Well, I mean, I guess it was like with, with Vern Gagne or Luthez, you know what I mean? Where you do lots and lots of wrestling and then at the end of the match, you do a couple high spots and you do a finish. Um, you know, which really wasn't what most wrestling was, but there's like this perception that that's what it once was. Um, but you just go out there and the whole, basically Dalton Castle's just suplexing this guy all over the place. And then, you know, Jay Lethal does win with a lethal injection, 
you know, which is a pro wrestling spot. But because so much of the match, the foundation of the match was legit, it it it's like it wasn't. You know, you you could they they throw in a few pro wrestling spots at the end, and then the second one was Jonathan Gresham and Wheeler Utah, and the whole gimmick of this match is is that Jonathan Gresham is this guy who's this great technical wrestler who um, somebody told him you know that you'll never be a great technical wrestler, so he went and proved him wrong. He went all over the world, to Mexico and Japan and Europe, and he learned everything, and now he's really good. And Wheeler Utah is. Jonathan Gresham, 10 years ago, except obviously taller, because everyone's taller than Jonathan Gresham, and younger, and he's following the same path, going to Japan, going to Germany, and kind of like wants to be the same thing. So they went out there and, you know, and he was, you know, talked about him wrestling in high school and wrestling in college and being trained by Drew Gulak and uh, Tracy Williams. And... You know, they go in there and, and they had a nice match too. You know, nice technical wrestling match. So it's, it's very different. Um, they're trying to, you know, they're trying a different form of wrestling. Um, you know, it's everything that people will tell you doesn't work, which doesn't mean that it will work. But many times when people say stuff isn't going to work, it, it sometimes it does. So, um, but it's just an it's just an interesting you know I don't know like when this tournament's over what happens but it's a completely different Ring of Honor product than they've ever done before and um, you know it's just yeah it's like watching um, an MMA show except they do cool pro wrestling you know what it is it's it's New Japan Young Boys pro wrestling that's what it really is where, actually you know, basically yeah yeah. So it's and I like New Japan Young Boys Pro Wrestling. I was it's a great way to open a show. I mean, as far as like this style, as far as like if you actually like did house shows and you had your first two matches like this, especially with a modern audience, because the modern audience is in, you know they'll they'll like these matches a lot. I don't know if they'll like like a whole card of them, but they'll definitely like them for a couple of matches on the show because they're you know they're they're good solid wrestling matches and as far as tv the key is is that like the one thing is is like you know who these guys are you know their motivations and you can learn to like them or dislike them or whatever you're you're they're really they do a great job with the personalities better than any you know better than any other company's doing i mean they're in a company out there i mean impact is doing wacky shit you know with the personalities for sure with some of the personalities but it's wacky pro wrestling personalities this is none of these guys are are you know Dalton Castle you can't get more of a wacky personality than Dalton Castle and he's like completely anti Dalton Castle Dalton Castle it's like there is no wackiness to anything there is this is these are just serious athletes fighting in these matches with with rules to keep the match clean um different things between the the rope breaks and the um, time limit and the punches and everything that add to the psychology and, and 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 strategy of the match. It's just a, it's it's uh. There's some remin rem reminiscences of UWFI wrestling. It isn't really UWFI wrestling, but the the scoreboard with the rope breaks is UWFI, and then you got the scoreboard with the time limit. So you know every match is 15 minutes. They they the first match went like 13, the second match went like 10. So when you're at 13, you know the time limit becomes an issue as well. And it's you know with the, with the clock and everything. I mean there have been companies that have done the clock before. I mean TNA did it, but their wrestling was too goofy, and their judge when they did the judging, their judging was too goofy. So it was like they had an idea because of MMA of what they wanted to do, but they couldn't get out. Of, like they had all these people who were so indoctrinated in the pro wrestling mindset that they couldn't get out of it, so they couldn't make it work. Whereas, again, I'm not saying this is going to work, but it is very much somebody. You know, and this is, I guess, it's, you know, it's Hunter Johnson. I mean, it's just like, I am going to break from the pro wrestling mindset and I'm going to create a niche pro wrestling group that is completely different. And because there's so much of the same in pro wrestling, I watched this and I enjoyed, I enjoyed every minute of this show for the whole hour or 53 minutes or whatever it was.